Daniel from Wolverhampton Music Service and in this video I'll be looking at the Grade 4 clarinet study Black Pepper. Now this is a fun piece to play and it's very fast and a bit later I'll be doing a performance of it a bit slower so that you'll be able to play along with it as you're learning the piece and then after that a performance a bit quicker closer to the marked tempo of 120 beats per minute. So as I said it's a very fast piece it's marked Vivace, which is very fast, and Alla Tarantella is in a style of the Tarantella dance, a very fast dance in 6-8 time, which of course means two main beats in the bar, with each beat divided into three very fast quavers. So I'll just give you a flavour of the speed of the piece by playing the opening phrase to you. <laughs> So that is the speed that is marked for the, for the piece, for the exam piece. Um, but of course, when you start playing it, we'll be doing it a lot slower than that. Now, the most important thing you can do to help yourself learn this piece is practice your scale of G minor, because that is the key of this piece. Two flats, which is the key of both B flat major and G minor, which is the key for this. Uh, so, you need to be able to play your scale two octaves quite fast. So, here it is to begin with. But you need to be able to play even faster than that. So, try this one. So when you get to about that speed, then you'll be ready to play the piece at the right speed as well. Now the first part of the piece actually uses the minor scale of G natural minor, where you flatten the seventh note of the scale so the F sharp becomes an F natural in, instead. So try doing that one as well, but it's only for the bottom octave of the G minor scale where this happens. And of course a bit quicker as well. So both of those two will really help. If you can play them quickly, smoothly, that will really help this piece. Now a few other points about the piece. It's quite fast but it's also quite smooth. A lot of slurs. Just make sure you tongue the first note of each slur. And of course there are some accents a bit later, at the end of the first half and the end of the second half. And of course right at the end. So for those accented notes, make sure you play them a bit louder and a bit, with a bit more attack as you tongue those notes as well. Now there are lots of dynamic markings in the piece, so really try to make sure you make a difference between them all. Starts moderately loud, MF, then soon goes to P for quiet, and then straight after that goes to loud. So try to make sure you make a real difference as you go from one to the other. <laughs> particular technical difficulty with the fingering and that is where you're going over the break particularly when you're going up not so much when you're coming down but going again this is where your practice with scales will help so particularly in bars 22 bars 30 and 31 where it's going upwards from B flat to C very quickly so just watch out for those so bar 22 Get your right hand fingers ready for that C straight after the B flat. And the same thing again in bars 30 and 31. Now when you perform the piece, don't forget that when you get to the end, you've got to then go back to bar nine, where you have that sort of S type sign with dots and a line through it. 
and then you carry on from there to where it says fine eight bars later. Fine, of course, being Italian for the end. Now, as a study, there is, of course, no piano accompaniment to this. So it's really useful if you practice it using a metronome. So get yourself a physical metronome or a metronome app and you can hear the beat all the way through as you're playing it. So I'm going to do a slower performance first and I'll be setting my metronome to 92 beats per minute. That's dotted crotchet equals 92. And you'll hear two bars of clicks. So that's four clicks in total before I start. to perform it at a quicker tempo closer to the marked one of 120 beats per minute this is actually 116 beats per minute uh, which is a bit slower uh, but it's quite acceptable for the exam so if you wish to go a little bit faster of course you can but not too much keep it around 120 beats per minute so again there'll be two bars or four beats of metronome before I begin <laughs> enjoy learning and playing that very fast piece. Don't forget it's really important to keep practicing your G minor scales and of course don't forget to look out for further video releases from the Wolverhampton Music Service. Thank you.